All right, everyone, welcome back to the of Miami. So today we're at a commodity in Long Beach. Um, our buddies from Renown USA, they're a couple of dudes from up north in San Francisco. They posted they were gonna meet, do a meet up here, so we're here. Um, obviously, I'm an early bird, so I'm way before uh, it actually starts. Um, so I can get some of the cars rolling in. I did want to address the fact that I I appreciate the, the feedback. I will definitely try to cut back on the cursing. I, I guess I forget that people are watching this in the living room, you know, on their phone, at work, when they're supposed to be working. Um, so I get it. So I'll definitely try to kick back on my cursing. I do apologize. Um, and I thank you guys for all the support. So hopefully you guys enjoy uh, this car meet. Alrighty, let's start our coverage with this gorgeous, gorgeous E46. That guy came in really, really early. He's like me. This is beautiful. I mean, the buckets, everything about this car is just on point. Find a good spot to park as well. And that red just pops. I'm in love with these wheels. I absolutely love the the the, the way they how the offset looks and with the lug nuts. This is gorgeous. Yeah, kudos to the owner. This looks beautiful. And that's where he's going. Wow, I really like the color on that one. Alrighty, so I've seen this car in so many different um, events, but it always it always amazes me how clean it is. I absolutely love the color combo, the, the nice. I don't know what color it is. I'm not gonna say it's Nardo gray or cement gray or battleship gray, but it's some type of gray, I think. And then I like the, the color that he went with the wheels. It just gives a nice classy look. And then with the with the steering wheel, it just it's just gorgeous. I mean everything about this car is perfect. Look at the sound of that. That fitment is on point. Oh, we like that. And then nice little wagon. Like I said, um, I'm an early bird, so I like doing this because then I can catch the, the way the car sounds and things like that. So we'll see. I think he moved his car um, to this. He's going to move it to the side and the alley. And I think this is going to be a parking for everybody else. So we shall find out. I'm not sure exactly. So we'll see. Airing up. Very necessary. Nice. That's cool. The two hermanos always pulling up. Always nice to see them. God, that looks gorgeous. Both cars look gorgeous. What up, my friend? Early, huh? Yeah, I beat you guys. That's crazy. That never happens. It's gorgeous. That's Ho. So to think that he cut the springs on this and he nailed the fitment, I mean, and I've seen some rolling shots of it and it looks just proper. So just old school, old school people know how to do it. Wow. A family car. <laughs> That's a bitching car. I don't think I've seen that one before. Oh, it's a 320 too. Nice. So we have another Mercedes wagon. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is what you'd like to see, you know, the whole family. It's a family car. So pretty. Wow. Love the color. Car is full, air up. Oh, that's nice. Super convenient. There you go. There you go. Love the color that he, he went with his wagon. And then, like I said, the 620 has a different front end, if I'm not mistaken. That's 
ecstatic life. Absolutely gorgeous car. I love the color of it. I mean, we continue on the silver theme color. It's All right, so they're gonna open it up for them on this side, so that way they can come in. The only thing is they're gonna have to leave earlier, like around 10, so. Oh wow, love the fitment on the tires. Very fit, very beefy tire fitment. So obviously the air-cooled Porsches have to go first. That's just the rule. <laughs> Very simple, very simple, but they, they, they just work. They look absolutely gorgeous, every single one of them. I mean, this blue just pops. Woo! Third wheeling in with the nice little green uh, calipers. And then this one's a monster. GT right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at those wheels. Oh, what a treat. And there you go. Like I said, I enjoy seeing them cruise and move around a little bit better than just sitting because you get to hear that. I'm sure you guys will appreciate it as well. These guys was racing yesterday. That's how crazy it is. He was racing yesterday and he's at a Carson Coffee this morning. Well, not yesterday. I think it was like maybe like a couple of days back, but you know, the idea is that he tracks a car and drives it on the street. It's gorgeous. Time, so let's check this out. Let's look into the little details. This question is... They're, they're made different. So Nardo, Nardo 64. Gorgeous. Beautiful color. That clearance is tight. Nice. Fire extinguisher matches the car paint. The apologize you guys couldn't hear me, I had my mask. Nice little roll bar in the back. You guys can't see. But I mean, this blue just pops, even though it's a very cloudy day. So I can only imagine when it's uh, when it's sunny. Wow, it's gorgeous. I love the black on black on this car. It's just very subtle, very, very, very subtle, but still demands your attention. Um, I don't know, but I don't know how you guys feel about black cars. They keep saying that you know there's a lot of details that get lost, but I don't know. I mean, just black looks good. Um, is it one of the hardest colors to maintain? Maybe the hardest, um, of course. But like anything, you know, I feel like black just looks classy on everything. And then, well, this is you know <laughs> straight goals right here. Uh, absolutely a beast of a car, and. To have matching BBSs on those specs, I, I, I can't even imagine how much the guy spent on these wheels. But um, nailed it. Fitment on point, and it sounds very nice. PD, oh no, and manual. Awesome. I thought that was a uh, PD, but nope, it was manual. Look at those wheels. And manual. This little Cayman. Cayman GT4, I like the silver and the blue. Oh, oh wow. Lotus Elise. Yeah. 
another E46 pulled up. Like I said, black. Black is the way, man. It's hard to maintain, but when it's done right, then, you know, this is what happens. And like I said, uh, Renown USA is the company that uh, posted this. If you guys want steering wheels, steering wheels and other accessories, hit them up on, on Instagram. Renown USA. Um, they're very track inspired and um, I haven't had any other steering wheels myself but them do stick it to the track all the time so it better be good quality you know it's been a long time since we haven't seen hose wagon and it's definitely it's definitely clean up I mean it was very nice to begin with all OEM and stock but my guy ended up uh, you know one of his ma magic touches and this is what we got super clean man it's gorgeous this car is just it's gorgeous the way it sits quite a treat couple E36s that show up again going back to the theme of the wheels I really like those style wheels They're very 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 clean very clean excuse me and then uh, gorgeous car Absolutely gorgeous cars. Another 36. They guys look really, really happy. <laughs> nice little EG. Wow, period correct. That's awesome. Super clean. Volvo Vin with a beautiful what up Vin? Cool. and then DPK David it's super dope Let's get a closer look at these other uh, cars that we just saw uh, roll by. Um, I really like the, the white body on this. Pretty cool. Super cool to see somebody do something different. If anybody knows the owner, I would greatly appreciate it. I would love to interview him. Um, and he goes to show you that it's not about the power. I just like, I want to hear the story behind the flares and maybe he got it like that. And I mean, even hear the story about how he ended up getting a car like this because they're very hard to find. Like I said, uh, one of my top two favorite Hoonigans, uh, Vince S13. Just picked up an air cooled Porsche. And um, him and Hurt are top two. It's pretty cool. Um, can't believe that this car looks completely different from when they first got it. Um, but obviously, they, they know how to build stuff there. That was cool. Uh, Dan is the man with uh, all his. I think Dan. Um, way of teaching is definitely my favorite and it's cool uh, but just uh, vibes is uh, Vin and, and Hurt the ones that are kind of um, I started watching the Hoonigans uh, and that's kind of the, the ones that I really let me get out of this guy's way so that way he can take a nice clean picture I remember I first saw this I said it was featured in uh, where was it um which one was featured? Stansworks. Stansworks was the one that featured this car. And just 
really really rad car I don't remember what the engine was or what it has inside or anything but I do remember that I was like damn that's a very simple and clean car and then what I like about this is that it looks like nothing right and what I mean by nothing it just looks like a subtle sedan but you know it's an M3 and so if you know you know type of thing really rad really cool and then for those of you guys who may know DPK underscore David he used to uh, build Civics Hondas so I guess now he's in the BMW world The Petrolicious. Then I believe I missed this 3 Series when he came in. So, I'm glad we did another walk around. And the guys over at Motorsports Hardware. Uh, for Motorsports Hardware, this lug nuts right here. For those who may not know, I'm sure a lot of you guys do know, um, he provides accessories and hardware for all that. So, um, obviously, the extended lugs, lug nuts themselves for different Porsches, for uh, BMWs. So, definitely suggest his products as you can see right here. Very, very mechanical dude. Um, great products. My buddy has um, gotten products from Motorsport Hardware and he absolutely loves them so those i can vouch for um and like i said this guy was just at the track two days ago and now he's driving here goes to show you the the level of of work that they put into the products to make sure the cars can be driven to to and from the track i'll put all those links in the description for motorsports hardware and renowned usa um, so that way it, it pushes me to start doing something with the description box So if you guys are ever in Long Beach big shout out to commodity beer coffee wine um, I'll put the address as well some good coffee and it seems like a very good location <laughs> 